I'm Bambi Francisco with this segment of Lessons for Entrepreneurs, and I'm speaking with Paul Buhait. He's one of the early architects of Google's Gmail, and he also founded recently FriendFeed. Uh, Paul, thank you for joining us. Thanks. And Paul, we have a segment for uh, all the Vader entrepreneurs uh, seeking advice and guidance. Um, as they build their company, and uh, you just raised $5 million. Maybe you have some words of wisdom about uh, fundraising. You help build uh, Google's Gmail. Maybe you have some, some words of wisdom about um, architecting a, a platform. Um, can you share, share three pieces of advice for, uh, about entrepreneurship? Sure. So I think uh, maybe one of the first and most important things to understand about any advice is just the, the context in which uh, it's occurring. And so... Uh, you know, a lot of the things that w we've done make sense for the kind of products we're building. And so uh, if you're building something that's more consumer or user-oriented, such as Gmail or, or FriendFeed, I think that it's very important to try to get the product in front of users as quickly as possible and really learn from what they have to say and, and the problems that they're having and the things that they really like and continue refining the product and even just the very vision of what the product is as well as all of the little details uh, on really as iteratively and quickly as possible. So, um, so get the product out quickly. Right. So that's important. And um, some people just sit and wait until it's perfect and you probably right. shouldn't be doing that. So right, especially for a startup, you just don't have the, the time. And also a lot of times people discover, uh, and this has happened to a lot of the startups I've invested in, they, they spend a long time building something and they release it and they find out that it really wasn't the right product or that right. they're, they're, they really should have been going in a somewhat different direction. Right. And one of the big advantages of getting it out there quicker is just that you, you get that feedback sooner and what about you, can, you can change direction uh, appropriately. What about the concern that if you build it you might be building this sort of house of cards and you, should, you need to build it right before you kind of like start releasing these products? Well again you have to be um, maybe a little bit thoughtful about things but uh, historically I think we've seen that people can usually if you have a successful product someone else or, or you can find the right people to really grow that product the mm -hmm. the more common scenario is someone puts a lot of effort into building a product and uh, it just doesn't click with consumers you know, like the, the Segway is a really great example there was there's a lot of hype around it they poured who knows how much money into building this product but it turned out that people weren't interested in a $5,000 scooter or, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and it's something that if you, if you test these things sooner, you can learn sooner. Sure. Any lessons about the fundraising process or building a team? Sure. So I, I think fundraising is really something that um, it's a little bit difficult to give too general of advice because it really does depend on your situation. It depends on... Uh, how much money you're able to raise depends on how much... <laughs> it depends much on if you're able, able to slap down a million dollars of your own money or right. so. Right. <laughs> it, it depends how, how long it's going to take for you to, to right. get to the stage where you can release a product. And so that's definitely something, you know, if you're, if you're building a piece of hardware or something, you might require a lot of money to do that. If you're building a website, fortunately, that can be done for surprisingly little money a lot of times yeah. today. And so it, it really just depends on, on the situation, I think. Okay. Um, any other final thoughts, parting thoughts for the entrepreneurs out there watching? Uh, I think that maybe the, the trait that really seems to determine which, which people are going to succeed and which aren't, in many cases, just comes down to determination. Mm -hmm. uh, the people who are really driven to, to make their company a success and to make the product a success and kind of do what it takes and not maybe get too fixated on any one plan, mm -hmm. but but continue really, really pushing to, to make it a success. Okay, well, great. Well, I hope that uh, Friend Feed is a success so far. It already looks like it's, it's off to a great start. Thanks, Paul. I've been, sp I've been speaking with Paul Buhite, who founded Friend Feed, and uh, he's also an investor in Vader TV. I'm Bambi Francisco.